Greetings everybody. Um, my name is Cheryl Forehand. I'm one of the group exercise and Pilates instructors here at the JCA. So welcome to Matt Pilates. Tonight, or today, whenever you're viewing this, we're going to take you through a more traditional mat flowing sequence, more of a beginner to intermediate, maybe a couple of advanced moves sprinkled in there. So hopefully that you feel well and fluid and more open in your spine when we are done. So we're gonna start with a nice standing warm up, standing with our feet nice and even, almost like number 11, two straight feet. Finding our center hips, our ASIS, in line with the center knee and the second toe. Taking a nice deep breath, I just want you to rock forward onto the balls of the feet and then rock back onto the heels. Without any break through the hip or the shoulders, imagine that the wind is just blowing you. And in today's sequence, we're simply going to use our bodies in a mat. I have a ball with me, so we'll use it for the warm up, but also I'll show some modifications around the head if you want to use that or a small towel. In addition, keep some water handy. Once you rock back one more time, I want you to find the center of your foot and see if you can find your body stacking up from the crown of the head to the shoulders, over the hips, and over the center of the feet. Maintaining that, take a nice deep breath in and inhale, lift those arms up towards the ceiling and exhale, let them float back down. So we're gonna start with a little mobility in the shoulder blades, breathe. Inhale, moving those scapulas in elevation and depression. Inhale and exhale. The breath is so important for fluidity in our movement. So integrate that breath while you move. And one more time, hold it up. Take the left arm out, palm towards the body. Reach up and over for a nice lateral flexion. Stack it up. Maintaining ear close to the arm, inhale as you reach over and exhale as you stack back up. Inhale, reach over. Exhale up, finding where you need to open up today between the armpit and the hip. Breathe for just a moment. Just kind of see where you might be sticky and stack it all the way up, rotate other side. Inhale, reach those rib cage away to the wall. We're reaching over to the right, stack it up. Inhale over, continue that breath and then hold this last one and just see where your stickiness might be. Just to assess your body, that's all. Let your brain become more aware of what's happening as you move and stack it all the way up. Take one arm up and switch for a paddle. And all this while we're maintaining quiet in our torso, our hips, our feet, our knees. And last one, take those hands, stack them on top of each other. When they're here, you have more room versus here. So let's stack here and rotate. Our chin and neck stay in line with the hands and rotate to the other side for some spinal rotation. Exhale. The hips maintain being neutral, meaning they're not moving. Both ASISs stay forward as you slightly rotate through the ribs, working and waking up the oblique system. Breathe, breathe. One more time, inhale and exhale, and then come back to the center. We're gonna take and bend our knees slightly, making sure that we can still see our toes. Take the arms out, palms go out, and I want you to open the chest for a little extension through the thoracic spine. That is your upper back. Exhale, scoop a big beach ball. Inhale, open. Exhale, scoop. So now we're taking the spine so through some flexion and extension. Inhale and exhale and inhale, swim away, exhale. Last one and come all the way up. We'll walk to the edge of your mat, take a nice deep breath in, reach those arms up, and we're gonna dive forward and let the head and the neck relax. Good, just keep that nice. And slowly stack up one vertebrae at a time. Reach those arms up. Exhale, dive forward. 
Let those eyes rest between your legs. Hands rest on the floor, even if you soften your knees. We're gonna bend now and straighten for some hamstring. Wake them up, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, sit, and gracefully come all the way down to the mat. So as I mentioned with the ball, you grab it and make sure you do have your water close by. If today you're in flexion with the head curled up and your neck bothers you, I'm gonna show you a way to maybe use a small towel or a small ball to give you some support as a modification, but also allow those abdominals to engage while you're working. So I'm gonna leave that to the side, taking our legs out. We're gonna roll all the way down on our backs. As promised, our warm up will include the ball. So we're gonna do a hip mobility series first. Lift the hips up and place that ball right between the tailbone and the waist. This way we open up the lumbar spine and the sacrum is nice and even as we find neutral spine once we take the ball away. Take one leg up to the ceiling, flex and point through the ankle. Find that range when you flex. Can you feel the stretch down the back of your leg? Somewhere. It could be at the calf. It could be at the hamstrings. And hold the flex. Lower that leg without touching the floor. Point and lift straight up. And flex as you float that leg and point. Now you want your muscular control to be through the abdominals, meaning you must breathe deeply. So inhale as you float. Exhale as you lift. So the leg becomes more floating than it does muscular. Last one, and up, bend that leg and bring it all the way down. Lifting the other leg, finding the quiet through the pelvis. Lift straight, flex and point. Flex, point, flex, point, flex, point. Now hold that flexed ankle, lower with the breath, Point and exhale as you float the leg back up. Inhale down. This is a hip mobility series. Breathe and exhale up. Two more. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down and exhale up. We're going to hold that leg up and we're going to bring the other leg up. They'll both be pointed feet. We'll go into a nice little scissor. The scissor size should be whatever you can maintain a neutral pelvis with. So if it's two inches, so be it. If it's bigger and you're not moving that ball, that's good as well. And breathe. Good, last one. Now bring the heels together, toes apart. We're gonna flex through the ankles and point. We're in a Pilates V, meaning we have a fist width between the toes and our heels are together. So hold the flex, open the legs, point, exhale back to the center. Again, our goal is to keep that ball quiet, breathe. Inhale out, exhale in, two more. Point, exhale, one more time, and exhale, hold. We're going to bend, let these guys drop and let them float towards the mat as you exhale, pull up. Inhale, drop. Exhale, pull up. Use that deep breath so you can wake up the transverse abdominals. Breathe. Exhale, pull. One more. Let's take a foot down, take a foot down, lift the hips, take that ball out. We're only gonna use it for modification. And hopefully you found that you can go right into neutral spine easily. You have a small gap at around the waist area. Your pelvis is even, ASIS to pubic bone. And that is where we wanna maintain unless we're doing some articulation. So from here, we're gonna lift the legs up into tabletop, one at a time going right into the 100. Lift the arms up. We're gonna go four ab curls. Inhale and exhale. So breathe. Number three. When you get to four, I want you to stay up. From here, your legs can stay in tabletop 
go straight out or come out 45. You have the choice or you can do half and half or a third and a third and pump. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Five more sets. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Last set. Hold. Bend the knees. Slowly come all the way down. Feel free to grab below the shins. Always avoid the knee and give yourself a lovely little stretch in the low back. Well deserved. Come back down. Drop your feet. Extend your legs all the way out. Zip the legs together. Flex at the ankles. Reach the arms up. Inhale. Lift your head, neck, and shoulder and blow air to the wall in front to roll up segmentally. So in our roll-up series, we want to keep the legs connected and the feet flexed so that our pelvic floor activates without us having to do anything. No squeezing, nothing like that. Take a breath. Curl the pelvis. We're going to do segmental roll-downs. Come here. Exhale. Come back up. So in case you're not feeling like a roll-down today or roll-ups, you can play right in the middle like I am. And exhale. You can come down to the shoulder blades if you want to venture. Come back up. So all of this is wonderful preparation work for the roll up. And one more time while waking up our deep abdominals and all the way down. Arms back behind you. Lift the arms, lift the head, exhale, nice and easy, roll through, round your spine. You don't have to reach your toes. Keep your belly scooped in, start to peel back, finding this low back to the mat first. That means you must tuck that pelvis. Lay down, inhale, reach back. Take a breath, lift the head, exhale, the breath is your friend, round forward. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, back. Lift, exhale. It's two full breaths or more if you need it. But the worst thing you can do is hold your breath because it will get you sticky in the roll up. So keep the breath fluid. Last roll up all the way. At least for now, we'll probably do some in transition. Stack up your spine, scoot towards the edge of the mat for a little roll like a ball. So we've already opened up our low back, so this should feel pretty good. Now, you're going to be tall on the sit bones, rock on the back side, let your legs come up to balance. Grab and reach. If this is too much, grab under the thigh, but avoid letting the legs fly around. Tuck your head. Relax the shoulders, and you should be looking at your knees. On to the count of three, we're gonna roll back for roll like a ball. One, two, three, inhale, and exhale, roll up. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Keep the body tight to you. Inhale, exhale, two more. One more, and stay seated. Drop the feet, scoot back, extend your legs out for a nice spine stretch forward. Abdominals connected to the low back. Reach the arms up to the front of the chest, stack your hands, drop your chin, let your head get heavy. Peel your spine from the top all the way to about the waist. From the pelvis, it does not shift. Head rest. Now glide your fingers forward, getting the stretch in the thoracic spine, the upper back. Drag the fingers in, exhale, and stack all the way up. Drop your head and exhale as you peel down. Inhale as you send those fingers out. Exhale, draw the fingers in. 
Inhale, stack it nice and tall, filling up space between each vertebrae. Drop the chin, exhale. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, and stack up. There is no leaning from the hips here. Spine stretch forward is about the upper back rounding forward, keeping the low nice and compressed, and stack all the way up. Take your arms out to the side as we proceed to saw. We'll rotate one finger towards one pinky toe. Feet are flexed. As you reach, turn the hand up. So you internally rotate at the shoulder, the palm is to the ceiling, and you are looking behind you. Up. Take it up and exhale, reach. If you cannot reach the toe, it's okay. Make your saw small. Reach. There is something for everybody. Reach. Start small. Work your way up. Stop at any exercise that bothers you. Inhale, exhale. Add one more set. And up and rotate and up and bring your feet in for spine twist. Stacking the hands like we did earlier, the hips are stable, the legs are glued, and the feet are flexed. Hands here as we rotate. We're coming to the center and we'll rotate. Now I like to start with the genie arms because this way your brain will not incorporate the shoulder or the neck twisting on its own, making you feel like you are twisting more. When really the twist is at the thoracic rib cage. And breathe. So now that we have that space, take the arms out. We're going to rotate pulse for two. Make sure it's not the arms swinging like that or the head. The arms don't move, they follow the torso. One more set. And in and rest. Taking your ball and from here, we're gonna use this as a modification as we roll down and get ready for the series of five after leg circles. So I'm gonna take it with me so that you have it. We'll place this ball right to the side, head down. Lift one leg straight up to the ceiling. The other leg, if you can maintain pelvic stability with the other leg straight, then I want you to attempt that with the heel centered on the floor. If that doesn't work for you and you feel hyped up, bend that supporting leg. So I'll keep mine bent today so that you can see what that's like. We're gonna make some small circles without the hips moving. Breathe, 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 and reverse, and seven. Breathe, breathe, four, three, two, and hold. Now straighten that leg so it's parallel. You wanna bend and reach the heel to the ceiling. Some hamstring stretches, and press in and press one more time, hold it, take your hands behind the thigh, gently bring that in and breathe. Now bend at that knee, place that foot all the way down. We're going to lift the other one up. Again, stable pelvis, leg extended is your goal, but if you cannot maintain that, then you would bend that knee and circle and circle and circle. So as you're circling, there should be no hula hooping going on. And two, and last one. So seven, circle, 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 circle. Two more and hold, parallel leg, flex, bend and straighten. Bend, push the heel to the ceiling, press, bend, press, hold it up. Grab, keep that foot flexed and pull in and stretch. Give yourself this nice isometric stretch. And nicely bend that knee, bring both down to bent knees. So as we progress to the series of five, we do a lot of flexion here. And sometimes we hear the neck is trying to do most of it because the lift should come from the rib cage 
not the head nod. But if the strength is not there for you yet, you can always place the ball at the base of your head and do your work from here or a small towel. You'll still have a little engagement. It won't all be there, but it will be a little bit more than the head being flat, okay? And it kind of will teach your body how to find that flexion. So lift the legs up into tabletop. Let's go into four more abdominal preps that we did earlier. Exhale, curl. Inhale, come down. Exhale, curl. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Exhale and stay up. Take one leg straight out. Take the inside hand to the inside right below the knee, the other one right above the ankle. Pull in and switch. Single leg stretch. Two more. Last one. Hold both knees in. Double leg stretch. Again, modification is here. Reach the legs, reach the arms, exhale, circle. Inhale, extend, exhale, circle. Inhale, extend, exhale, circle. Inhale, exhale. Two more, exhale. One more and hold. Single straight legs, leg up, leg out. Behind the calf or the hamstring, your choice. Pulse for two, switch. Two more. Knees bend, come down and take a rest. We now will take our head side to side just to find some release through the neck muscles. Or a scalenes, which tend to help us in breathing. And we're going to go into the last two. With the last two, our head is supported with our hands. So thread your fingers, thumbs will be down. You will take those hands to the base of your skull with your thumb supporting each side of the neck. This will help you find the support of the head as you work towards drawing those ribs together to get you that flexion. So we're gonna curl up, let the head rest in the hands, curl up, close the ribs, and get ready to go into double femur arcs. Exhale before I take you into double straight legs. Exhale. So we did something like this in the warm-up with hip mobility, but we weren't flexed in the upper body. Make sure that you're not pulling on the head, but that the head is resting back in your hands. One more, and hold. Extend the legs. Exhale, lower. You can be turned out. You can be parallel. Whichever feels good for you. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up, don't lose the upper body. And hold. Parallel, bend the knees, crisscross. Shoulder to knee, shoulder to knee. No elbow crossing, shoulder to knee. Now shoulder to knee, leg extends. Switch, switch, switch. So a little trivia, crisscross was not a part of the traditional repertoire that Joe Pilates put together. There was only four. This one came later and breathe, and breathe, and breathe, and it's one of my favorites. And breathe, and in, come down. Woo, drop your head. Take a nice deep breath, take your arms out to the side, make a wide V. Drop both knees over, keeping the shoulders down, keeping the head centered, spine twist. Now, breath is critical here, exhale, Use those abdominal system to pull you back. You've got the obliques, the transverse. And inhale over, spine fills up with air. Exhale. The legs are not powerful here. Inhale over, let the legs relax. Stretch that QL. Exhale, come back. And one more, inhale, hold it. And we are going over to a sideline series. So from here, let's line our body up along the back edge of the mat. 
Each week I talk about different arm positions. So we can have our arm here. You could have a towel here if you prefer. You can have your elbow or the traditional was more head supported. So this is the more, I would say, the high level if that's where you want to work today. And I will work here. Hand down, hand here, hand here. So you have those options as well. Bring our feet towards the front corner of the mat. We're gonna flex the feet and we're gonna lift and lower. And notice my pinky toe to my heel are straight. So we're working abductors right now. Lift and lower, lift and lower. So the leg position is in neutral and pulse and pulse and pulse. Now this side is lifted, not hanging because there's obliques here working. There's back muscles working. This isn't all about the legs. Hold it. Kick for two, point one back. Kick, kick and point. Inhale two, exhale back. Inhale two, exhale back. Inhale two, exhale back. One more and hold it back. I like to circle with my heel. So we're gonna heel circles today, feeling hopefully somewhere in here, your abductors working and reverse. Circle, 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 circle and hold, come down, turn out let your head rest for everybody. We're gonna lift, flex, lower down. We did point in flexing of the ankle and leg in parallel. We are now turned out, feeling the adductors hopefully engage. Yes, and the medial hamstring. Lift, and one more time. And you're gonna hold that there and pulse with that heel and press and press, and press, and press, and four, and three, and two, and hold. Now take the legs back out straight. Lift them both up. Lower the bottom, lift. Adductors of the bottom leg as we press, and press, and press. Keeping that waist lifted, keeping neutral spine in this sideline position. Oh, I hope you feel those abductors work over here, working in stabilization. And here we go. Both go up and down, a little banana work. Side bananas, two, and last one, hold. We're gonna take that arm out for a side stretch. Let's scissor those legs. Ah, oh. and now bring your hands, come over to the front of your body. We're gonna start with a little Pilates prep of dart. Forehead down, legs glued if possible. If your low back is tight, feel free to open the legs slightly. Reach the palms towards the ceiling. Inhale the heart, exhale, come back down. Inhale, lift, let the heart shine a light. Lift the arms up, palms to the ceiling. Come back down. Inhale, lift, lift the legs, come back down. Everybody lifts and we pump. Pump, 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 four, three, two, hold, come down. So this is a pre-Pilates prep for our extension. Pump, 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 four, three, two, hold, come down. One more time, inhale, pump, 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 four, three, two, hold, come all the way down. We're going to come up onto our forearms for single leg kick. Shoulder, elbow align, palms down. Pull the belly up and away from the mat so it's not pressing in and we don't have lumbar spine compression. So pull up, maintaining neutral pelvis. One leg, kick, kick, reach lower. Kick, kick, reach lower. Your eye gaze is towards the front of your mat. Breathe and kick, kick. One more, last one, hold it. Come down, lay on one facial cheek. Grab a couple fingers, let the elbows rest. Double leg kick, one, two, three. Extend and lift. Come down to the other facial cheek. One, two, three, reach. 
and one, two, three, reach. And one, two, three, reach. And one, two, three, reach. Last one, one, two, three, reach. And come all the way down. Wind up your legs, bend at the knees, grab in front of the foot. So your knees should be about the width of the mat. Let your forehead rest. We're gonna go into just an extension move of swan. Press your feet into the hands. Practice that a few times. Good. Now press, lift the heart, and stretch. Watch the neck. The heart is lifting, not the eyes. Come down. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Reach a lovely thigh stretch here. And come down. Let the legs go out, hands up. Come into a nice child's pose. Reach your hips over to one side and your hands over to the other. Good. And breathe. Come over to the other side. And breathe. Check into wherever you might feel sticky in that breath. And now we are going to flip around and go to the other side. I hope you're warming up just a bit. And as we go into sideline, remember the arm positions that we review. Have your choice or change. It's certainly fine, whatever you feel comfortable with. So we're gonna line up first, bring our feet forward, find the hand position you want, feet flex to begin with so we can wake up those abductors and lift and lower. Now, you're always looking at where are your feet in line with your hips. Because if the feet turn out here, we're into a different hip flexor. We're not into the abductors. So we want to be parallel. We are also working the bottom one isometrically. Yeah. And pulse and press and press and press. Press and hold. Kick for two. Point one back. Kick, kick. You come back just till you feel that crease at the glute. Kick, kick, point one back. Kick, kick, point one back. Kick, kick, point one back. Kick, kick, hold the point. I like a flexed heel for my circles. And circle, and circle. Oh yes, and reverse. And circle, 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 and stop. We're gonna extend all the way out, heels together, toes apart, now Pilates V, into that flexion, lifting and lowering with a turnout. Press down, keeping that waist quiet, not letting the hips shift. Flex, reverse, up, point, down. Flex, up, point, down. Flex, up, point, down. Flex, up, and point. Now flex and both heels are trying to reach each other. Reach, reach, reach. You're in turnout. Press, press. Ooh, three, two, last one. Parallel. Straighten the legs up. Let's start with a little bananas. Both legs come up. Keep the top leg and only the bottom one moves. Press, Press. See if you can engage all the way up to the adductors, to the heel. Press and press and pulse, 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 pulse. Together, lower, lift, lower, lift. Don't forget, don't let your waist push into the mat. And last one, hold. We're going to take, you can find a scissor of the legs, reach over, a nice side stretch. Lovely. Ooh. So we are gonna take that arm, come on to our backs now for some bridging. Coming back down, feet lined up, knees to the ASAS, right where we started. Hands by your side. Lift those hips straight up. Find the gluteal fold. Note if your ankles should be more in line with your knee, the further out they are, you're gonna use more hamstrings. We want the whole hip extensor working, glutes and hams. Articulate down, one vertebrae at a time. Lift straight up. 
Exhale, articulate down. Oh, melt that spine. See if it feels a little bit more open than when we started. I hope so. Two more, lift up. Exhale, melt down. Try to find the space between each vertebrae. This is where you practice drawing those ribs together to get that middle back, which is tight for all of us. Lift up. As you exhale, melt the breastbone. Draw these front ribs together. See if you can find a little bit more of those thoracic vertebrae as you articulate down. Lovely. Legs all the way out in front of us. Arms up. And we are rolling up now to transition for open leg rocker. We're going to scoot forward just a bit. We're going to take our legs and we're going to find a tall position where we're on top of the sit bones. Rock back, lift one leg, lift one leg. And we'll start in a modified position and I'll take you through the journey. So anywhere you want to stay, please do. You can rock your pelvis back and forth here and there's a lot of low abdominal work. You don't have to roll. Now, once you find that connection stabilized, let's lift a leg and lower. Lift, lower, lift. So this is another way to challenge your stabilization, moving one leg at a time. We are now going to open leg rocker in modified with the knees bent. So scoop the abdominals in, pubic bone towards belly button, and Inhale and exhale, hold. Take an inhale back, rock on the spine, exhale. Keep your eye gaze at your knees. It will keep your head from bobbing. And hold. Now, if you want to maintain, we're gonna do four more, but I'm gonna take it to the full position with the legs up. So you can go with me or you can stay with knees bent. Eyes now are still at the knees, keeping the flexion in the spine and the torso. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale, inhale. One more. And bring the legs together, lower them all the way down, and we're we'll scoot back a little bit for pull front. Hands wherever you decide that you want them to be. So that position will change on your shoulder girdle. Feet are pointed, they can be turned out or parallel. Lift your hips straight up. Come back, sit down. Lifting up till you find that gluteal fold. Lift up, come down. On the next one, come up. If you choose, lift a leg, lift a leg, lift a leg, lift a leg. One more set, hold and sit all the way down. Reach forward, grab your toes or your ankles or your knees and stretch. Beautiful. Now we're going to roll over into all fours. Our wrists are going to be right underneath our shoulders and we want to make sure that we're nice aligned in all fours. Curl at the pelvis and straighten. There's no movement of the upper rib cage. In other words, you don't want to round here. You want to start at the pelvis. It's a really nice way to activate the transverse abdominals and the multifidi, both muscles, part of your core. Hold that stability. We're going to take a leg out, take a leg out for pull downs. Lift one leg, flex at the other heel. One, two, three, lower. 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 One, two, three, last set. One, two, three, lower. One, two, three, hold. Drop a knee, drop a knee, sit back in child's pose. Woo! As we transition, to finish up, as we go into standing, where we want to finish today, we're coming back to all fours, tucking under our toes, come up into a nice downward dog. Not a Pilates move, nice little yoga move. Ears up against the arms, stretch those heels. Lift them up, breathe as you lower. And lift, and lower. 
Take your hands, walk them in. Let your head hang, let your arms hang. Breathe. Slowly stack up your spine, one vertebrae at a time. Roll those shoulders back, roll them back, and we're going to come into a Pilates V to finish, zipping our legs, assessing our ribs over hips, assessing our shoulders over hips, and a relaxed head and neck. Take your hands together and your elbows. Our goal is to get the elbows here, and if they're not, stay here. Because that shoulder girdle mobility we're working on. Lift and lower. And lower. Be patient with yourself through your work. Enjoy the journey. Challenge yourself when you can, and don't go where it hurts. Lift up, open out, push the arms away, feel the chest and the pecs open up. Shoulder blades are moving. Two more. And exhale. Woo! One more time. And exhale. I hope, regardless of when you're doing this workout or watching it, that your day is well or tomorrow is great. Take care of yourself. Be safe. Until next week, have a good one.